I think if anything, this season of life has taught me more than anything that the quote that says the only thing that's constant is change is so true. Hi guys, today's video is a very exciting video, one that I definitely did not think I would be doing ever, but I am and that is about a little life update and some things happening, some big changes. I just kind of wanted to share in this video more about those changes and I did a whole podcast episode as well. If you guys want to listen to it, it's a little bit longer than this will be and I'll go more into depth. If you want to listen, I'll have it linked down below. I talk about it all the time and I know a lot of people are annoyed that I talk about it all the time, but I am getting married here soon within the next few months and so this is a decision we made together and something that we're really excited about and especially him. I'll go into kind of some things that happened for him that we're really thankful about. I think that the longer I'm on YouTube and the longer I'm on Instagram, I get kind of nervous to share these decisions. And I think this kind of started when I quit my job in November. Ever since then, I've just been scared to talk about these things, been scared to share life updates, which kind of makes me sad because I want you guys to be, you know, excited and involved in my life. But sometimes I just feel like um, it's really easy to cast judgment. We got engaged in December and it was kind of always our plan to stay in the city. We had always thought it would be really fun to be like newly married in New York City, to be living there as a young couple and just really enjoying life there. That was kind of the plan. And so whenever we got engaged, we started to look at apartments and kind of figure out what our budget would be figure out how much you wanted to spend. And in my podcast, I kind of talked more about like rent and those things, if you guys wanna check out that. But essentially, I did a whole video on like what you can get for 2,500 to $3,000, and that's kind of like what we were looking at, which is a lot of money, like so much money. And for someone who has grown up in a Dave Ramsey family and has always, you know, tried to be more prudent with money, it was, really hard to think of spending that much money on rent when you're not actually owning something. And we couldn't even find like a one bedroom that we really liked that had laundry or, you know, a bedroom with windows in it or wasn't, you know, right on the street. I think that was in February when we were looking around and I just got a little bit discouraged like, man, it's really expensive here. And there are a lot of people in my house right now, so you can probably hear them in the background, but I've always kind of talked about how expensive New York City is. And I know I talk about it a lot, but it is just kind of a fact of reality. And I love the city and I have nothing but, you know, positive things to think about it. And have to love living up there and growing there and just, you know, really coming into myself as a person. I feel like after college, it's so nice to be able to kind of, you know, find your own identity apart from where you grew up and apart from your family and to really cultivate your own sense of self. And I really think that I did that by moving to the city. And I really think that I found more about myself, found about really strengthened my faith a lot and you know, my relationship with God. And I think that these are all really positive things. I really value being prudent with money and trying to save money. After we had kind of looked around, we just, thought, you know, what would it be like if we lived somewhere else? You know, what would it be like if we didn't live in New York City? And this was all before the virus, before any of this was like a thought of the matter. And so Aiden actually graduated in May and he was applying for a lot of different jobs. We kind of just decided maybe he should just apply for jobs that are kind of everywhere, not necessarily just in Texas or Dallas, but kind of like, everywhere on the spectrum. Applying for a lot of different places and there was this one company that even when we were dating, he always talked about how it was his dream to work at this company. Like it was a company that really valued work-life balance. It is in the finance sphere, but as people who value, you know, family and spending time together, work-life balance is really important. And so this was a company that he knew kind of encompassed those company cultures. And so it was always his dream to work at this company. And we kind of told ourselves, you know, if one of these jobs actually works out, if he lands it, it's kind of a sign that, you know, maybe this is what God has for us. Maybe this is, you know, the plan that he has because as Christians, we do trust God's sovereignty. We trust that he ultimately is in control above us and we, you know, submit to his authority and would never want to make a decision that was based off of our beliefs and us thinking that we're sovereign above him. And even before this, I was kind of thinking about how I pray. And I think that a lot of times when I pray, I have a tendency to kind of expect a certain outcome. I did an Instagram post on this, but I think so often I would inflict, you know, what I necessarily wanted in my life into my prayers. And I started questioning, do I really trust God when I'm just inflicting, you know, what I want into my prayers instead of asking for his will to be done? And I would 
lightly say, if it be your will, make this happen. And I just don't think that that's the way to pray. And in our sermon in church on Sunday, we were reading from Ephesians and it was this passage. It says, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the same? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe? And I read that and I think that sometimes we overlook that sense of power. And it's like, if you are expecting these outcomes that you want you're not necessarily trusting in that he has the power to do his will and so i really kind of started shifting my prayers to this and we were praying a lot about it and he actually got a job in dallas at this company we were super excited and it was kind of the thing that solidified that this was a good decision and that this was something that was beneficial for us. The fact that he could work a job that aligned with his morals, that was using his talents, that was beneficial for him. While I have a job where I can literally go anywhere and I am more than happy to be in Dallas, you know that that's okay with me and that is something that I'm actually really excited about and I'm excited for him because it's just so different than any of the work experience that he had prior in a good way. So I know a lot of you guys probably saw this coming. I've seen like comments of people wondering if this is coming and it is indeed coming and it's something that I definitely didn't ever think I'd be moving back here so quick. I always told myself, and if you guys have been watching for a while, you know, I've always kind of said that I wanted to stay in New York City while I'm in my 20s and I wanted to be there in my 20s. And I kind of said once I settled down and wanted to have kids, I'd move back here. And spoiler, not planning on having children anytime soon. That is not why I'm moving back here. But I just didn't really expect to move back to Texas so soon. And I am and I'm really excited for it. And, and I also want to say this has nothing to do with the virus or anything going on. I'm not moving out of the city because it doesn't have anything to do with it at all because I think it's going to be an issue no matter where you live nowadays but I do have a lot of fun things coming and so I just wanted to share so I've been pretty open on this channel about the importance of family. Family is something that is abundantly important to me and something that I really value and I think whenever I went to college I was really homesick a lot and always missed my family and that's something that I never got used to. It wasn't enough for me just to come home for holidays days or to come home occasionally like I wanted to be there in the small ways I wanted to be there on the random weekends I wanted to be there to eat dinner and end up talking for three hours at the dinner table like these are things that I like and I like to be a part of and I think that in college I always try to tell myself that that was kind of a wrong way of thinking and that you know this is the time to really be myself to be my own person to cultivate my own way of being which is true but that's not to say that valuing family and valuing being around family is a bad thing and I think we live in a culture that doesn't necessarily say that and so I want to be there to say that it's okay if you like being around your family and it's okay if you never get over being homesick like it's okay if that is just your reality and that was mine and the fact that we can be closer to my family is really important he has spent a ton of time with my family we are very close I'm very close with his family that's something that we're still going to be seeing a lot because we can actually have a car and drive and see people instead of flying with everything going on and so so the reason why he was actually here last week was because he was interviewing for this job and we also looked at a lot of apartments and today I actually just got the email that we got approved to one of the apartments that we applied for which is so exciting it's actually my first time and his first time like solely getting an apartment on our own we've always paid for our apartments but never been the sole person on the lease because in New York there are crazy income requirements that you have to meet and for someone who's like post-grad or in college it's not super viable usually you have to have like a guarantor so it was really exciting here just being able to like get a place on our own and, and it was really nice because in Dallas all of the apartments that we saw were pretty much self-guided so you just put on a mask you got the keys and you went up on your own so you didn't have to be with a leasing agent and it was like contactless it was really really nice to do. We also test drove cars, which was fun and also contactless. And we found one that I'm pretty sure we're gonna get. We're gonna get a used one because here in the Reed family, we only really buy used cars because like I said, I grew up in a Dave Ramsey family. But the apartment that we got, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna have a whole video on all the apartments that we searched and you will see our budget was so much smaller than it was in New York City, not even close to 3000. And we looked at some really awesome places that were just really updated and very safe buildings very safe areas and had a lot of amenities or a lot less than what we could get in the city and i just think that it will make our first year of marriage a lot easier being somewhere that's just comfortable 
him working a job that he really likes. We've both never really had our own place. We've only ever lived with roommates and so we've never kind of like made our own place together and that's something that I have always looked forward to that I'm so excited for to like furnish a place. I think a lot of people are gonna ask how we're moving. So my lease is up in July and his is up in August. So originally we had planned to get one in New York City for July, I would move in and then he would move in after we were married. And I would probably come back to Texas before then so he could move in. All because we're just waiting to move in together until we're married. But it's actually really nice because my roommate Rose, who you guys know, she's actually staying in the apartment because they're not increasing the rent or anything. And she has a new roommate he's gonna replace me and they're totally okay with me leaving my stuff there for now because I have like a twin XL bed that I think that they're gonna use and a lot of my furniture I'm gonna leave and then once Aiden and I are married we're probably gonna road trip up and pick up all the things that they don't want to keep so there's like no rush to fly and move and the middle of a pandemic like that's just not something that I want to do but that does mean that we're gonna have to buy most of our furniture here which we kind of wanted to do because we wanted it to be stuff that we both really liked and we both wanted in the place that like fit both of our styles but that also means that we like have our apartment and I literally don't have anything to move into it and so we have to buy all new stuff so it's gonna be really fun to furnish and all of that. I think if anything, this season of life has taught me more than anything that the quote that says the only thing that's constant is change is so true. I don't think any of us are living lives that we thought we would be living pre everything going on. I think for a while I was really worried about getting stuck in a certain decision. Like if I made this move, if I stayed in this job, if I stayed in this career, like that was my end all be all and it was permanent. And I think it's just important to realize that our lives are not made out of permanent decisions. Like if we hate this, we can move. If we love it, we can stay. And that was something that I said in my video quitting my job was this isn't the rest of my life. This is just a singular decision that I'm making. It doesn't define me. Like my identity is ultimately in myself and my value as a person and made in the image of God. And it is isolated from any decisions that I make, any place that I live like these decisions are things that should be you know guided by God himself but they're not necessarily a part of who you are and Dallas is a lot different than where I grew up I grew up in a suburb so it's not anything different it's pretty similar to just living in an urban area which is why we wanted to do it so moving from New York City wasn't as big of a shock because Aiden is from the Northeast so he's kind of used to doing the whole urban living thing but yeah that is my life update I know a lot of you guys saw this coming I am absolutely so excited and I genuinely mean this when I say the past few months have been some of the hardest for me personally um, just going through a lot of things kind of off camera and I think that this is the first time in a while that I felt genuine joy about a decision that I'm making that we're making genuine joy for what's to come I just felt like I haven't been able to look ahead at all and be excited about life that sounds really sad to say I am just so excited I cannot wait to get married I know I talk about it all the time it's because I'm really excited and I talk about things I'm excited about on this channel and so I know it annoys people and people are like Michelle we get it you're getting married it would be better if I talked about it too much than not enough I feel like so I'm so excited for the videos to come we're gonna be doing a lot of moving vlogs not really moving stuff but just buying stuff and moving in or at least starts on June 30th so that's when we can start moving stuff in but I don't think that I'm going to be living there and he's also working remotely so there's no need to like move here super quick he might move in alone before not really sure I'll let you guys know I hope you guys enjoyed this life update video I hope you don't feel like I disappointed you I know I really have to change a lot of my branding that says I'm a New York City gal because I'm now a Dallas gal. There's definitely not as much influencer wise here in terms of like going to agencies and events but I don't honestly think that a lot of those things are going to be happening in 2020. A lot of those things are going to be on hold anyways and I also know that there are a ton of influencers here. I love Danny Austin, Kenzie Elizabeth just moved here. We also have a lot of friends in Austin so we plan on road tripping and seeing them. I'm so excited to have a car. We've always had a dream to explore out west. I follow Jules Jacobson and on Instagram and she has been doing a road trip to Wyoming right now and it's so cool to see her just exploring 
Wyoming with her fiance and that's something that we really want to do is go to like Montana and Utah and New Mexico. That's always been something we've dreamed of doing and now that we have our that's going to be good for road tripping. I can't wait to make that happen. I'm just really excited. I cannot wait for what's to come. I hope you guys are excited for the videos. I feel like now I can actually do stuff about this because I just haven't been sharing a lot about it even though it's been in the works for a little bit but I like to talk about things after I've made the decision because I just feel peace. I feel like God has given me peace to talk about it. I feel like he has aligned all the steps and it's just crazy to see his provision and everything and his ability to align things that I personally would never be able to do and I'm just so thankful and I think if anything out of this video I just want you to know a I love you guys I'm so thankful that I can be able to move somewhere and still work this job I'm truly so thankful trusting in God is the best path I know a lot of times I would say that I trusted in him when I really did it and wanted to kind of make decisions for myself but this is the first time where I just genuinely feel like I am believing fully relying on him because I have no idea what life is gonna be like but I'm really excited for it and just excited for a new chapter and my podcast if you guys don't know is called but what's next so i think it's really funny because this is literally like but what's next for a new phase of life so i hope you guys enjoyed um i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video which is going to be an apartment search video if you guys want to stay tuned i love you guys bye friends